I want to show you the craziest Steam profile I've ever seen. Full of anime girls, over 2000 games, a ton of badges and even more cute anime girls. Well, this profile belongs to Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Saudi Arabian prince. I discovered this guy by Gumbo's video, Weebs in Weird Places, and I just had to do more research on him. People say money can't buy happiness, but this guy is a very strong argument against that. So Salman, you say you really love Dota and anime, also you have infinite money. How do you combine these hobbies? Oh well, it's nothing, I just made a fucking Dota anime. That's right, I made it. You see. Salman owns a large percentage of Netflix and the anime was made in collaboration with Valve and Netflix. Now, I want to nominate this guy for being the most based person of all time. This guy should be on the cover of Time magazine. Sorry Zelensky, but we got a giga chat here. This guy currently owns not one, not two, but six mega Lursen yachts and his playtime on Dota is even more insane than his Steam profile. You see, usually see people know life Dota and have like 5 to 6 thousand hours, but no, those are rookie numbers for Salman. His playtime on Dota 2 is 31 thousand hours. He also has an artwork section in his Steam which has a ton of art for Yuki. From what I can gather, Yuki is his nickname because he has Yuki Yuki written in Cyrillic as his Steam name and in this art named Yuki and Marcy, you see a drawing of him next to the Dota 2 character Marcy. You can also check his screenshots. I bullied Chaos Knight, haha, <laughs> XD, carry me sometimes. Okay. Heart. I used the Wayback Machine to check his Steam and he had a frequently asked question section on his profile a while back. Question. I invited you to play with me but you didn't accept my invite. I accept invites most of the time unless I'm in a game, busy or not available. Sometimes you have to wait a few minutes when you invite me in order for me to go from my current room to the room where I play. The palace where I live is massive and it takes minutes, it could take more than 30 minutes even, to go from one room to another. I would really appreciate it if you give me a heads up before you invite me. This is the palace he is talking about, the Ritz Carlton in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, which cost more than 7 billion dollars to build. Do you stream on Twitch? That's a nice idea and I would love to do that. However, there is no need for me to stream because we already own billions worth of shares in Twitch's parent company, Amazon. But who knows, I might stream for fun someday. Question. Do you go to the international majors and events etc? Yes, I go to some of them. I actually got invited by the government of China to go to the international 2019 with friends and heart emojis. He also had the link to his VK page which is a Russian social media website where he posts mostly about Dota but also of the events he sponsors. Please watch my Gamers 8 festival which will be the biggest esports and gaming festival in the world with a 15 million dollar prize pool. It will feature a 4 million dollar Dota 2 tournament which makes it the biggest Dota 2 tournament other than Valve's international. His profile also states that he loves Russia, Belarus, Ukraine and Kazakhstan very much. There was also a video of his brother high-fiving Putin but that video was on his Instagram which is deleted now. He also owns the most expensive house in the world. He posted on VK, we have finally bought this house for 126 million. Its original price was 500 million. And hearts. Oh yeah, he also owns Honeypop, the hentai game. 